Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. If you are new, welcome. In today's video, I have gathered a few of my favorite spring decorating videos and put them all in one for you. So I hope this video inspires you and gives you a few spring decorating ideas for the spring season coming up. So let's get right into today's video and I hope you guys all enjoy. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be painting some pieces of furniture that I recently picked up. I will also be decorating the front room and entryway for springtime. I love lavender and white together and they go absolutely beautiful in these two rooms. So I hope you guys all enjoy today's video and I hope you get inspired to do some decorating. So let's just get right into it. So this is a desk that I picked up a few months back and I love how it fits with my decor so beautifully. And I've been wanting to paint this for quite some time and I'm finally getting to it. So I'm gonna share with you how I painted it and the paint that I used and all that stuff. I found these beautiful appliques online and I will leave a link to the ones that I used in my description box. And um, I use this seller on eBay all the time and I love their appliques they are bendable so if you have like a rounded piece or a piece that isn't straight flush these work perfectly and you can always heat them up in the microwave for just a bit to get them a little more pliable but I love them and then I have some wooden ones over here off to the right um, I'm not going to use those today but I will use these beautiful rose pieces and I'm just showing you some of the other ones that I have. I have some very similar to this in my kitchen on my island. They're so pretty and I do believe I got them from the same seller. Also, this is what some of them look like when you receive them. They are this brown color and I love using the brown because you can take a sander and kind of distress it and that brown shows through. With the whiter ones or the cream colored ones, you have to kind of maybe add like a little bit of a brown paint to them to make it look distressed. But I love using these furniture appliques on a lot of my projects that I do. Here I have the appliques glued to my desk and I do like to tape them up for at least 30 minutes to make sure they're not gonna slide around anywhere. And I did use E6000 glue. I used to use wood glue and it didn't hold as well and it didn't dry as fast. This is amazing for wood appliques. I've been using this for a few years and love using it and it works so good. I think I've got mine at Hobby Lobby, but I had these taped up for a good 30 minutes, 45 minutes. It's best to do it overnight, but 30 minutes was fine for this project. And then I'm using the Valspar Ultra, and this is a paint and primer in one. And I did just get a basic white paint, what they had on the shelf. And what I did was I used a very small brush to paint the entire thing. I'm gonna show you the brush that I use here in just a few minutes when I start my other project. But I did go ahead and do three coats and three coats was just enough for this project. Okay, so here's the dresser that I found at the thrift store. It was only $30. This is not an antique and it's actually not even real wood. Um, it is a very good dresser, it's super heavy, but when I took the knobs off, I could tell that it was particle board. So I know I had posted a picture of this um, a few weeks back or a week back, and I know there was somebody that was a little concerned if it was an antique and they didn't want me to paint it, but it's not an antique, it's not real wood, and this is gonna go perfectly in my office area. But I did love this little keyhole on here, so I left that. And I did love those drop knobs down at the bottom, the bottom drawer. And I'm gonna go ahead and leave the top wooden because I just love that contrast. And then I picked up these glass drop knobs at Hobby Lobby and they were 50% off. And I'm going to use them on the middle drawer and the top drawer. Mm -hmm. 
for every project that I have done in my home, I have always done it this way. I know that you can go through more of a detailed process when you paint furniture and do like a full on sanding and a good sealing finish when you're done. But I've always just cleaned my furniture really well, like get rid of all the dirt and the dust, and then I will just start painting. And this is what I am doing here. I'm just giving it a really good wipe down, making sure there isn't any dirt or dust left on the furniture piece. And then I'm going to remove all three drawers and I will paint them off to the side over here. And then the brush that I am going to use is just a very small craft brush and here it is it's just a flat brush and I love using these types of brushes to get into those small cracks so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my paint and just go through the corners and all those little tiny spaces first If you are new to my channel, I just want to say thank you so much for stopping by today. I hope that you are enjoying the video so far, and I truly hope that you do consider subscribing to my channel. I would absolutely love to have you here. So I just want to say a quick thank you, and I do appreciate you stopping by to watch today's video. So here's the dresser all painted and I did have to use four coats of paint on this project and I did let the coats dry in between each coat and I always use very, very, very thin coats. I feel like it works out better this way. It's less likely to goop up and make a mess and I did finish this in probably about two hours but I love how this turned out. It looks so pretty. I really was on the fence about painting this because I thought the color of it was really pretty. However, all of my furniture is white and I am so happy that I painted it. It just flows better in here. And then I did move stuff around. I have this side table over here with this lovely sign that a subscriber gave me, which I absolutely love. And then over here I have my printer and my Cricut machine. And then I have all of my stuff put away nice and neatly in these drawers. I have all of my Cricut stuff in here and some printing paper. And it definitely looks better than just a mess that I did have in this corner. I really wanted to make these two pieces look like they were fit to sit in a same room together and these knobs that were on the desk just weren't doing it for me and I wanted to find some glass knobs so I went online and I found these knobs here wonderful price I will leave them linked down in my description box I do believe they came in a pack of 12 and here they are I just added them to my dresser I did have a few left over so I'm going to add those upstairs in the bathroom I did get a cabinet to go up there on my wall and then a tall side cabinet to go up there as well for some storage that I have but I will show you that in a different video but I love how these knobs look and it just definitely completes the look of this desk now I'm just going to do a little decorating over here on this wall. This little piece that I'm hanging up here with some hooks, I'm going to hang some jute baskets on here. I love to keep some office supplies in here like pens and some tape and a couple of other little things that I use often. And now I'm just going to free up these shelves that I have up here. I felt like they started getting a little cluttered. Sometimes when I don't know where to put stuff, I just kind of put stuff everywhere and then it ends up looking like a little bit of a mess. And I feel like that's what I was doing the past couple weeks. So I'm just kind of cleaning this up and making it flow just a little bit better.
here is the office area all finished and I am so happy that I painted both of these pieces. They definitely fit better in this area and I do have my desk at a little bit of an angle now to give myself a little more room behind my chair and I just love how everything flows back here. Ideally, I would love to have my very own room with a closed door and have my office in there but my house is just too small for that and we never used this dining room area for anything and a table just sat in here so this is where I have my office set up. I still need to find a spot to put my lighting in the corner as you can see there but for now that's where they're going to stay but everything else I am really loving how everything turned out. I love that I painted these and I did finish them in only two days. It only took me two days to paint both of these pieces. If you have any questions about anything in today's video, please don't hesitate to ask them in the comments. I will be more than happy to answer for you. I do get tons of questions about these bird cage or chicken wire cloches and I did purchase those at Marshall's probably I want to say maybe three years ago and they are just so pretty i did find some online that were very similar so i will add a link to those in my description box okay so here is the entryway and i have such a great idea to decorate this using some whites and some lavender this is a mirror that i found at a thrift store i want to say it was a few bucks I don't remember how much it was but it was not that much I did paint that using the same paint and then I had this window pane that I found at Kirkland's a couple years ago and I thought it would look so pretty sitting here I love decorating with lavender in the springtime and around my neighborhood lavender is blooming everywhere and it is just so beautiful. I love how it looks with whites and I wanted to kind of have that as my theme in these two rooms. I found this lavender wreath a couple years back and I do believe I got that at Home Goods. So I'm just adding it to this mirror to give it some color and then I'm going to also take that same lavender and add it to these um, lanterns that I have on each side of the mirror. Here's some lavender that I picked up at the Dollar Tree a couple years back and they did come in bundles. I just kind of cut them up in pieces and then I'm just going to add them to the greenery here in this lantern. The lanterns here in my entryway, I did find these at Hobby Lobby and I want to say about six years ago is when I purchased them and I do believe they still have them and if you do purchase some, make sure that you go when they are 50% off. Don't ever buy anything from Hobby Lobby unless it is 50% off because if it, if it is not 50% off when you are in store, it will definitely be 50% off the following week. That's how their sales work. But I love these lanterns. I have switched the decor out here several times and added different lanterns and I always go back to these and I just think they are so beautiful. Since I am decorating for spring, it would not be complete without some beautiful distressed shabby chic looking bunnies and I found these at Home Goods just a few days ago. They were $16.99 a piece and I adore them. I think they are so darn cute and you can use these anywhere. Today I'm placing them here in my entryway. These would also look really pretty on a fireplace mantle. You can add some florals and some baskets and I think these just look so pretty for springtime. I love decorating with some bunnies and I'm going to use more of those types of bunnies over in my 
living room area as well. So I felt like I needed to add something in this little space between my bench and my little side table. And when I was at Hobby Lobby, I also found this lavender and it looks so real. This was also 50% off of $14.99 and I got two bundles of this. And I have a little vase placed in this plant stand and I'm just gonna place the lavender in the vase to kind of hold it up a little bit better. And then I have a garland of moss. And I also found that at Hobby Lobby a few years ago. And I thought it would look really pretty to add a little bit of greenery over here and then hide that vase as well. And it also helps support that lavender from kind of leaning over, but I love this. I think it looks so pretty over here and it gives the right amount of color. Now that I have the entryway complete, I'm going to head on into the living room and this area kind of flows into my office area and I am going to be doing some lavender in here as well. But I did have one of you suggest that I add two more of these lace panels and I am so happy that you suggested this because I went and bought two more and I love these. The price is so good and they are just so beautiful. So I went ahead and bought a set of two more and then I added them up here in my window and I love these lace panels. They are just so pretty and I truly love them and with that gathered look with those two extra they just complete the look in here so whoever you are if you're watching I just want to say thank you for that suggestion what the window looks like now with the extra two panels and it does give just a little bit more privacy with that gather and I love them they are so beautiful and I also love my velvet cream color panels that are on each side and I will leave both of those linked down in my description box if you are interested here's some lavender that I'm just gonna add to my planter that I have down here during the months of February and March, I like to start adding greenery throughout my house. I feel like once you take everything down after Christmas, it's just really bare. And that's when I like to kind of subtly add a little bit of green and then add more green as the weeks and months go into springtime. And then once I start to see things blooming around my neighborhood, that's when I start to add that color. And I am definitely seeing a lot of blooming lavender and so that's when I decided that I'm going to start adding some lavender inside my home and I love the way this looks. I definitely had to move this planter up. It was just too hidden down on that second shelf 
So here on the second shelf, I decided to add some bunnies and then just a little bit of greenery with a candle holder. And then I'm going to be using a couple of my flameless candles between the two bunnies. And I did find these at Ross probably about four years ago. That wooden box down at the bottom holds some essential oils and it's neatly put away and I love that box for my oils. I found that box at Ross and then like I said the bunnies were purchased from Ross and I do believe that candle holder was as well. Those flameless candles I did find them online and I will leave it linked. The ceramic planter was found at home goods. I do get asked about my lamps. I did find those on Craigslist a few years ago. Over here in this corner, I wanted to add just a little bit of light. So I'm going to be placing my candelabra lamp over here. And I did find this at a consignment shop. That is it for today's video. I truly hope that it has inspired you to maybe pick up a really inexpensive item from a thrift store, garage sale, and do a painting project yourself. It really is very simple. I hope this video has inspired you to do some decorating or just give you some ideas. If you did enjoy today's video, please be sure to hit that thumbs up and make sure that you subscribed if you haven't already. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Have a beautiful day. Bye. Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be decorating a little bit early for springtime. I'm just adding a few bits of life around my house and some new items. I found some beautiful lace curtains and I will hang those up in my living room. And then I'm going to be adding a little bit in the bathroom as well. I hope you guys all enjoy today's video and let's just go ahead and get right into it. I'm gonna start here in the family room and I did find some more of these linen pillow covers. I love these. I had these on my couch that I previously had in here and I found these pillow inserts off of Amazon. I normally buy them on Ikea, but I was in a bind and I needed them in a hurry. So I went ahead and went on Amazon and found these and I actually like them so much more. They have a thicker cover so those um, feathers don't poke through. And I love the down feather mixture because they make them super fluffy 
and very choppable, which I have to chop my pillows. But I love these linen pillow covers. I will have a link for these in my description box. I just think they're absolutely gorgeous and they match perfectly with my sofa. I previously had some white ones in here, but I wanted to keep those in the bedroom and they were like a temporary decor fix until I got the linen colored ones, but I love these. These are so pretty. If you are new to my channel, I just want to say thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Monica and I love to decorate. So if you are into some decorating ideas, this is definitely the channel that you are going to want to subscribe to. So hit that red subscribe button right now before you forget so you don't miss out on any videos and make sure that you hit that notification bell so you are notified each and every time I upload a brand new video. The beautiful neutral floral pillows that you see here on this sofa were purchased at Target and if I can find the link, I will also add that into my description box. I am loving how I have my mantle decorated right now. I feel like it's very cozy and fresh. I love that garland of fern that I have up here on my mantle and then I did add a few flameless candles up here on top and then down here on the bottom and I love these. I think these are so beautiful and they look like they are real flames. I will leave those listed in my description box as well but I love them and they have a remote and a timer and it just makes everything so nice and cozy in here and I will be adding a little tiny bit of color over here on the mantle here in just a few minutes. So for the colder months I had this completely neutral. I had everything monochromatic in here so I had all of this white milk glass and then white florals and stuff like that. The only thing that had a little bit of color was my beautiful china sitting down at the bottom. So with springtime right around the corner, I wanted to add some greenery in here and I love how this really pretty soft um, greenery just kind of cascades out of this planter with these white flowers. And then I also added some moss balls to some of the milk glass pieces down in the bottom. I was going to stop there with the decor over here in this area, but once I closed up the doors, I felt like it needed just a tiny bit more. So I did have some more greenery and I decided to kind of place it up top to just really make it pop over here. And then I will be adding a little bit of color with some pink flowers here just at the top on this one side. I love how everything came along and it just looks so incredibly beautiful. You can see me pressing down up here in several areas. So what I'm doing is I'm just kind of placing it securely with a command hook. I keep a couple command hooks up here and they are up here permanently. And I love using these for garlands and little pieces of greenery as what I'm doing right now and it just holds everything in place and I just absolutely love doing like the fall decor up here with the fall garlands and the Christmas garlands during the Christmas season. Command hooks are definitely my best friend and it holds everything in place. So 
so once I had the greenery throughout the cabinet in here and then on top I didn't put anything down on the bottom because there was a little bit of color in that china but once I had a chance to stand back and really look at everything I felt like it needed a little bit of greenery at the bottom to balance more of that green throughout so I just added more of those moss balls down here in the bottom in one of I think it's a soup bowl or something but I just think everything looks so pretty in here and it definitely says spring I cannot wait to add more spring decor as the season gets closer I really love those soft pink and yellow florals that I added to the cabinet area so I decided to bring more of that color over here where I have my wine and I love this basket if you've seen my videos before when I decorate this area, I love decorating this little area for the seasons. I just have so much fun with it. So I just added some color over here to the greenery that I had. And then I decided that I wanted to add a little more than just this one specific type of floral. So I went through my spring bins and I found some of these pink geraniums and I added a little bit more to this basket and I love the way it looks. I really love lavender flowers as well and as much as I love the pinks that I've been using I really wanted to add a little bit of lavender over here on this side by my window and I thought it looked really pretty next to my blue valens. I wasn't going to break out the bunnies just yet, but this is so incredibly adorable and I've had this for a couple of years and I was going through my spring bins and I saw these two in the same bin together, this wire cage thing with some artificial eggs and moss that I made, I think it was last year or the year before, and I just thought this would look so cute on my sink by my mixer. and. I went ahead and put it out. I will be adding more bunnies and more spring type decor in some of my later videos as the season gets closer to spring, but I really wanted to put this out because I just thought it was too adorable not to. Over here on my kitchen table it looked a little bare so I thought I would add this pretty antique doily and a milk glass vase and I am adding some tulips and more of that pink geranium in here and I just think everything looks so beautiful. I honestly cannot wait for warmer weather. I can't wait to see everything start to bloom. I'm definitely looking forward to spring like I have never looked forward to spring before. I'm just so over the cold weather. So here's a little bit of color that I decided to add over here on my mantle and it's this little bundle of lavender and I cannot remember where I found this but this lavender looks like dried lavender. It looks so real and it's just so pretty and I just wanted to add the tiniest bit of color over here and I think this looks perfect sitting up here on my mantle.
Now that I have this area of my house decorated the way I want it for now, I'm gonna head on into the living room. And this is the room that you see when you first walk into our home. And I love this area, but sometimes I struggle with how to decorate this area. I recently added these new velvet panels up here, which I absolutely love. Um, but I feel like this is just too open. I wanted something else up here to kind of give a little bit of privacy and I didn't want to cover up this beautiful window with some dark drapes. So I was online and I found the most beautiful lace panels. These are like a European French type style and I think they are just dropped it gorgeous i love these and i was so happy to find them i will leave these linked down in my description box if you are interested but they are very affordable and they're just so incredibly gorgeous so as the weather warms up and springtime starts to roll around I love switching out my decor and adding more light and airy pieces or pieces that make the room feel a little more light and airy. So like if I have heavy drapes, I like to replace them with some lighter drapes, which you will see me do here in just a minute. I do have some heavier panels up in the bedroom and I'm gonna switch those out but look how beautiful these lace panels are. They don't block any of the light coming through this huge window, but they add a tiny bit of privacy and that design on these panels are just so gorgeous. It almost makes me want to take this side table and move it somewhere else so everything's nice and open to where you can really see the beauty on these panels, but I don't know, I'm not sure where I would put this side table. And I really love that my plants get some sunlight over here. So I don't know, my mind is always turning and we will see what I will do. So here up in the master bedroom, I have these velvet panels and they are a little bit of a darker color. They're not too dark, they're like a light gray, but these are pretty heavy and um, I just feel like with the warmer weather coming around, I really wanted to lighten up this side of the room where the window is and let a little more of that light through. So I'm just gonna take these panels down and I didn't go out and buy anything new for this I did have some really pretty white panels with ruffles on each side and I did have these up in here for quite a while and I love them and I did find them on Amazon I will leave them linked in my description box if you are interested but I love the white panels I just think they're so pretty and again I love that airy feel that it gives to this room I haven't really done too many videos up here in the master bedroom, but when I do, I almost always get asked what color paint I have on the walls in here. And it is called Candlestick Silver and it is by Sherwin-Williams. I think it's the prettiest, lightest color of gray and I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. However, I have been thinking of painting it white in here not like a stark white but like an off-white I'm just like really loving white walls I am seeing a lot of white walls in so many beautiful homes and I just love it so that's just something that I'm thinking about but if you're wondering about the color in here it is called candlestick silver by Sherwin Williams <music> I do plan on adding more decor in here, spring related. 
I do plan on doing something different with the wall of my bed and maybe switching out my bedding again. I love my white bedding, so I might end up switching that out. So here in the master bathroom, I'm just adding a tiny touch of floral in here and they are white florals in this planter box, but I thought they would look so pretty over here by my closet bathtub sitting here in this window. And that is all of the spring or floral decor that I'm gonna be adding here in the master bedroom for now. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you some decorating ideas. And don't forget to click on that link in my description box so you can sign up for Thrive Market today. And if you have not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up before you leave. And I hope you all have an amazing day. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Hi everyone and welcome back to a new spring decorating video. I am so excited about today's video. Everything turned out so beautiful. I tried to go with a ton of neutrals this time and everything just looks gorgeous. I cannot wait to share the entire process with you. I hope that this video gives you a ton of decorating inspiration and some ideas and all that fun stuff. So let's just go ahead and get right into today's video. Before we get into today's video, I just want to show a little bit of a preview of last week's video in case you missed it. I will leave a card up here so you can click on. I will also leave a clickable link down in my description box. You're also going to want to follow me over on my Instagram. I share a ton of stuff over there and make sure that you hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already. Okay, so let's get right into today's video. In last week's video, I painted my desk that sits in my office. I also painted this dresser. It has like my Cricut stuff and some printing paper and some stuff that I just have laying around in my office. Well, I ordered these beautiful furniture appliques and they came in. So I'm gonna go ahead and place them on the drawers. These are so pretty. And when if you decide to order some of these and they are not pliable enough for you you can just pop them in the microwave for a few seconds and they will soften up see right here on those drawers they're kind of um, not straight so they do need to be bendable and mine were not that bendable so I just kind of warmed them up for just a few minutes and then um, I was able to place them on here but these look so pretty. I haven't painted them yet. I just kind of placed them on here because I had other stuff to get to, but they are just so gorgeous. And I do get asked about my appliques all the time. I have some beautiful appliques throughout my house. And you're going to see here in this video what I used for my fireplace mantle. But I'm going to go ahead and leave a link for these in my description box. The store that I use, I love using this store and they always have the best quality appliques. Today I will be decorating the kitchen and the family room and I have the most fun decorating these two areas of my home. I did not want to turn this into a clean and decorate so I did go ahead and clean this kitchen and clear the countertops off and do all that stuff before I started today's video. I wanted this to just be a decorating video and um, so that is what it's going to be. Right here above my sink I have this blue toile valance. I love it but I really wanted to go with a neutral look or more of a neutral look and I felt like that blue just was not giving me that neutral vibe. So I will be switching that curtain out here shortly. Since I have to stand up on the countertops for this, I'm definitely going to do this first because I do want to clean my countertops after I have been standing on them. So I'm just switching out the valance and this is a valance that I did make myself. 
and it was fairly easy to do. I just did a couple gathers and then um, pulled that up to give it that French look. I wish I knew the correct name of this type of valance and I just cannot think of it off the top of my head right now, but I really love this look. It's very soft and pretty and I think it's very fitting for the style that I'm trying to go for in today's video. Since I have so many whites here in the kitchen, I wanted to warm things up over here by my stove. And for that, I'm going to be using some cutting boards and these are functional as well. Um, I have so many cutting boards in my kitchen. I don't use these, but these look so pretty up here on the backsplash. And I do believe that I got that first one in the front at Hobby Lobby and then that round one. I think I picked that one up at Home Goods and I do not remember where I got the darker one, but those beautiful vinegar and oil bottles I found at Home Goods, and then I have that salt and pepper shaker or salt and pepper holders that I found on Amazon, and I will leave that linked in my description box. The holder that they are all sitting in, I found that at Hobby Lobby, and I always get asked about my chandelier nightlight, and I found that at Marshall's probably a good six years ago and I have not seen them anywhere since. I'm going to go ahead and place my bread box back here on the countertop and I did make this bread box. I used some of those appliques that I purchased from that same store and then I just used a drawer hole for the top and then I stenciled and painted the bread box and I just think it's the cutest thing ever and then over here I'm going to have this cute little stand with the bunny and then I just have this little cage that I placed some moss and some artificial eggs in and I do believe I got those eggs at Hobby Lobby and that cute little bunny stand, I got that at Home Goods. I'm using more of that wood color over here on this wall with my canisters. These are my absolute favorite canisters ever. I love these. They are so pretty. And I did find these at Kirkland's and then I used my Cricut machine to make these beautiful little labels. And I love these. And then I have some milk glass teacups that I place in here for measuring cups. I found these adorable kitchen hand towels at Home Goods a few weeks ago before I even knew how I was going to decorate in here, and these work perfectly. They add just a touch of color in here, which is absolutely perfect. And I'm going to place one over here on my oven door, and then I'm going to place the other one over here on my kitchen island.
Now I'm just going to finish things off in here by putting the rest of the stuff back out on the countertops that I do use quite often. I have Rocco's treats over here, which is my dog, and then Kirby's cat food, which is my kitty. And he heard <laughs> the rustling of the jar and he thought he was about to get fed. So I had to quickly show how cute he looked. I really wanted to give that farmhouse cottagey feel in here and I love the chicken wire and that gives that farmhouse look. These are some hydrangeas that I found at Michael's a couple weeks ago and I loved these. I love that cream color and I thought they would look perfect here on the table in this basket. So when I went into Michael's to find these, I actually ran into a subscriber and I was so incredibly happy to see her. If you are watching, say hi in the comments, but I, it was just, it made my day. And if you do happen to see me out in public, I would love it if you just came up and said hi. I think it is like the coolest thing ever. But um, yeah, I just wanted to mention that she made my day and it was just a wonderful experience. So here are the hydrangeas in this little basket here and I just think they look simple and pretty and they add the perfect touch of something spring here on the table. When I was at Hobby Lobby picking up some crystal knobs for that dresser that I painted, I saw these really pretty hydrangeas and I just loved them. They do look more real than some of the other florals that I've seen in there and I had to pick some up because I knew that they would look so pretty sitting up here on my china cabinet and they do. They're just gorgeous and they were 50% off. so. I felt like I scored a big time with this one. go ahead and finish my decorating here in the family room and I am not going to overdo it in here I wanted to keep it pretty simple but I will definitely be adding a little bit of color in this area I really loved how this mirror and the shutters looked up here so I'm going to go ahead and keep those where they are and then I'm going to be adding a swag that I had in my kitchen area previously and I'm just going to place it right here below the mirror.
Now since I won't be using my fireplace again for quite some time, I'm going to add a little bit of light and warmth over here by placing some candles here in the corner. And I do get asked about that fireplace green quite often and I did find that at Hobby Lobby. I was going with mostly neutrals, but I did have color up on the mantle, so I thought that it would look so much better if I took the colors in that floral swag and kind of added it over here on my sofa. So I did have these floral printed pillows in the other room, and I thought I would just swap out the throw pillows. So I'm going to take those white and beige pillows and place them on the green couch, and then the floral printed ones with the pinks and the sage green and peach color i'm just going to place them here and i just think it did the perfect trick it was not overwhelming with a ton of different colors and crazy it still gave it that neutral look and then i will be decorating this mirror tray that i have in front of the sofa I'm gonna go ahead and keep it pretty simple over here as well. I had this little candy dish. Today I'm gonna to be using it for a candle holder. And I got the candy dish at Home Goods a couple years ago. I think it's so cute with those bunnies. And then I'm going with that same peachy pink color. And I did find a candle that I have had. I believe I got it last season, but the color is perfect. And then I have some florals that I'm adding to it just to give it more of a spring look. I normally don't decorate over here, but I did have this garland and I didn't really want to put it away. So I thought I would kind of hide some of the electronic stuff up here. My husband definitely lets me do everything decor wise in this home and he wanted a big TV. So he got his big TV and I am not going to complain about it at all. But if I can hide just a little bit of that, what's going on on this pretty buffet table, I'm going to do it. So I went ahead and just added that fern garland up here. Well, that is it for today's video. I hope it has inspired you to bring out some spring decor and start decorating. I definitely had so much fun doing that here in my home. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure that you hit that thumbs up. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye.